Hello students, in today's class we will learn how to convert a number that is not a perfect cube into a number that is a perfect cube. Let us start with the first question here. Is 392 a perfect cube? If not, find the smallest natural number by which 392 must be multiplied so that the product is a perfect cube. So, in order to answer the first part of this question, whether 392 is a perfect cube or not, we need to start with the prime factorization of 392. So, finding the factors here. So, 392 can be written as mul the multiplication of the factors. Now, looking at this, if we decide to find the cube root of 392, we have a group of 3 2's, but we have a group of only 2 7's. So, this here is definitely not a perfect cube because we do not have the prime factors in triplets. So, since we have only two sevens, we'll be, this will not be a perfect cube. So, that answers our first part of the question. That implies 392 is not a perfect cube. Now, let us move on to the second part of the question. And if not, we need to now find the smallest number by which 392 must be multiplied so that it gets converted to a perfect cube. Now, if we would have had another 7 here, then the situation would have been perfect. We would have triplet, that means a 3 2s and 3 7s. So, the smallest number by which we need to multiply is definitely 7. So, the number to be multiplied to 392 to convert it into this is in fact the smallest number. So, to convert it into a perfect cube is equal to 7. So, when we multiply 7, 392 will become a perfect cube. So, the perfect cube will be is equal to 392 multiplied by 2. So, 2744 is a perfect cube here which we get by multiplying 2 to 392. Now, here we converted a number that was not a perfect cube into a number that is a perfect cube. Let us now move on to the second question. Is 53240 a perfect cube? If not, then by which smallest natural number should 53240 be divided so that the quotient is a perfect cube. So now, so now we have to find the number which must be divided to this unlike the previous the first question where we found the number that has to be multiplied. So in order to answer the first part of the question whether it is a perfect cube or not we will start by the prime factorization. So 53240. Now, dividing by 5, so here we have the prime factors. So, 5, 3, 2, 4, 0 can be written as a product of, we can see there are 3 2's. And there are 3 11s, but there is just 1 5. So, 5 is one prime factor which is with not in a triplet. That means the given number is not a perfect cube. Now, the next part of the question asks us to find the smallest number by which this given number must be divided so that the quotient becomes a perfect cube. Now, if you look at the prime factorization, if we can remove 5 from here, then we are left with only triplets. That means we will be left with numbers that when multiplied give us a perfect cube. So, the number to be divided is 3 is 5. Number to be divided is equal to 5. So, that the resulting quotient 
so 53240 when divided by 5 will give us 10648 which is a perfect cube so in this way we can convert numbers that are not perfect cubes into numbers which are perfect cubes